it is amazing since we have known you for five years how huge your career has gotten. I mean, it's it's amazing. You were playing stadiums when you were by yourself early on, but it's just astronomical now, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know when it's going to end. <laughs> I'm yeah. kind of like, there should be a point where it stops, but uh, yeah, I'm very, uh, very happy, very happy. Yeah, well, you should be. I mean, you're doing great, and you were great at the Grammys. That was amazing. You did all that by yourself. Um, so you won Song of the Year last year? Last year, yeah. Last year. And what is the difference of your feeling being at the Grammys this year versus last year? I mean, there was no pressure at all. I, God, I was a bit fat then, wasn't I? Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, there, was no, there, was, there was no pressure. I was just, um, just kind of, I only went out in the audience for the, uh, the, the Bieber song that I helped, helped uh, write, and then the rest of the time I spent with my family um, backstage, so it was pretty, pretty fun. And then that's, and that's when you got on a plane and, and took off for Iceland, right? Yeah. Okay, so you took, I talked to Scooter about this, and he said that you were just going off the grid for like a year. You were not going to be on your phone. Well, I still don't have media. a phone. I've, I, got, I got rid of my phone as my New Year's resolution. You don't then, have a phone anymore? No, I, got, I bought an iPad, and then I just work off, off email. So, uh, and it's so much less stress. I don't wake up in the morning and have to answer 50 messages of people asking for stuff. It's just like, I wake up and have wow. a cup of tea. That's amazing. Well, good for you. Don't you do that, because we have Instagram. Don't. <laughs> No, 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 you, you don't need to do that like he did, because we have Instagram and Twitter that you need to follow. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I understand what it, because in the morning when you wake up and you want to check and see what's going on and you're on your phone all the time. So you went to Iceland, yep. right? Because you wanted to celebrate your birthday there. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, well, I, I went traveling for the year. I, I, I found myself, I always get really, I come from the countryside in England, it's such a beautiful place, and I get really annoyed when uh, everyone from all over the world and they oh, I went, came to England, it was amazing. London was amazing. And I was like, did you go anywhere else? And they were like, no, but London was amazing. And like, I found that I'd done that in every country I'd been to. Like, I'd been to Germany and only really been to the cities or mm -hmm. been to like, gone to Japan and just been like, Tokyo is amazing. So being able to travel and actually like, go outside of the cities was my goal for last year and actually see a country for what it is rather than just the capital city. But you started off in Iceland uh, scalding the skin off of your foot. So yeah. that's not a good way to start. No, I... <laughs> I, I get, I, I have a lot of accidents because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a clumsy idiot. And uh, I, we were, we were up the top of a volcano, and uh, it was an active volcano, and it had like a little bubbling boil. It's called a geyser. It's like a boiling pool of, uh, well, more than boiling water basically. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. And they were like, no, don't look over there. And my foot slipped in, and uh, it was, I've never actually, f I've never had the feeling of dying before. But <laughs> I fell in, and like it all went in slow motion. I was like, right, well. That's it. <laughs> but I mean, you were wearing like Timberland. Oh yeah, or I was wearing right? I was wearing really thick Timberland boots, and, and, and they uh, and melted. It, no, it just went. No, the no, Timberlands were fine. But oh it went, wow! It went in. It was a good advert for Timberlands. But it went in the uh, it went in the top of the tongue, and all the boiling water w went down. And then uh, I took my shoe off, and they were like, "Don't take your sock off," and it was hurting so much. I was like, "Take my sock off! Take my sock off!" And as they peeled it off, all the skin came with it. <laughs> so when you have a burn, don't don't, don't take the sock off. Don't take the sock off. Yeah. Well, that was unpleasant. Um, 